We got to really, like, come back because it's been years. Bro, I, listen, man. It's you, cat on me. No. <laughs> I don't ever be out here like that, though, for real. But, yeah, we got to come on, man. I'm ready, bro. You be going crazy. I haven't shot a music video in a while, to be honest. Oh, you ain't, you you just stopped doing videos, period? No, see, the thing is, uh, I was working at No Jumper. Yeah. So I was just kind of focused on YouTube content and shit like I that. I thought you were still over there. No. Like, I seen when all the... BBC. This, no, independent. No, I, I know, I know. I, I seen when all this shit was going on, but I'm like, damn, he probably... I thought you was the only one that stayed. Because, mm. you know, you behind the camera, you feel me? So I didn't know what was going on with that. But, yeah, I, I for sure thought you were still going up. Yeah, no. Over there. I'm fully independent, so now I have time to shoot music videos and all types of different content, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. The plan is to, like, start the production company. I got all the homies. That we're all from SAC out I here. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You did this shit. It, well, it probably took a while for you, but it... Like, on the outside looking in, like, you put this together fast as hell, nigga. Like, like you know, how, like, usually when niggas start, it'd be, like, low budgety looking. Yo, shit kicked off, like, feel me? Tight yeah. Off the rip. You was tight off the rip. Oh, God. Like, this, the whole setup already, like, that was, that was fast. When was your first joint, like? Bro, so, like, I did my first podcast, like, four years ago, five years ago, in my mom's, like, Oh, my mom's low house. Budgety, uh, low budget. I got the low budget ones for sure. Okay, yeah, I didn't, I didn't see them. I, I was thought doing... you kicked it off with it like this. No, yeah. If you go back a couple years, I got some like in the garage podcast. Oh damn, I didn't know that. I oh damn. So how long you was over there at No Jumper? Three years. Three. Oh, so you started the podcast before you even went over that way. Yeah. Oh damn, that's tight, bro. I yeah, I was like, like I was like a big fan of just what Adam was doing in the whole thing. Like, I really love just like interviewing people and listening to those shits because at that time, the interviews he had was like, they were fire. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. He was doing like what's the name of them back then? Like, like the XXX yeah, era, the yeah, Peep yeah, era, yeah, the yeah, you know yeah. the Melrose days and shit. Yeah, that was crazy. I didn't. I wasn't even really paying attention to that shit back then, and I think I caught on probably like. Uh, I think I caught on when he started doing rappers that I listened to, like, mm. cause I ain't listened to uh, X and M type shit. You feel me? And Lil Pump and shit like that. I wasn't listening to them niggas. You feel me? But I, I listened to X later, and he that nigga tight. Yeah, I think he tight on God. Yeah, you no. Know. But yeah, when he started doing niggas that I, I listened to, I'm like, oh yeah, this that shit tight, bro. I mean, yeah, he definitely influenced. I mean, just the whole interview space, like. Mm -hmm. Early shit. Now everyone wants to interview or do interviews nah, and shit. I think podcasting is a new rap game, man. Like, even rap niggas is going over to, you feel me, canceling their careers. And, like, what's the name? I'll be seeing, the, I'll be watching the Math Hoffa nigga, the battle rapper nigga. He said, fuck the battle rap nigga. Podcast where it's at. You feel me? Like, that's dinner where everybody going. I think that's the new. This shit finna be extra flooded though. Like it's like everyone just wants to be a content creator. Yeah, yeah, and then and then they don't even be caring. Some niggas don't even care how it look. Like it'd be a nigga with an Android set up and rocking every day. Like like and subscribe, comment, put your notification bell on, <laughs> man. Like, and that shit be looking bunk as hell. But I get it though. But yeah, that that's that space finna be super flooded, bro. Got yeah, everybody wanna do it. Yeah, cause that's like the. The cool thing about like starting off with just the iPhone and shit mm -hmm. is you have something to refer back to. What sucks is when it's like a couple years and it still looks the same. <laughs> you know, it's what I'm like you gotta hang it up. <laughs> it's just, it's I swear it's just like rap. Like that's what people be telling people. Like bro, if you've been rapping for a certain amount of time, nigga, it's time to hang it up, bro. Like da da da. But I feel like it really ain't no age limit. Like nowadays, I feel like it ain't no really no time limit. Honestly, because like. It would be an old-ass lady. Like, literally, an old-ass lady could get on there and just say whatever, and boom, she's viral. You feel me? Out of nowhere, and now she's somebody in our culture type shit. You feel me? So I don't think it's no age range on that shit. I don't think it's an age range on the podcast shit either. I just think you got to be talking about, you feel me, yeah. something. It's just it like got to look cool. You got to have cool guests. Like, it got to be a vibe. You feel me? Like, yeah, that's what I think about that shit. Yeah, no, nah. that's like the goal with this place is like to create just like a, you know, a vibe, a comfortable. Yeah. You know? Yeah. For but sure. this is a full circle moment for me, man. Mac J is on the pod right now. Mm -hmm. You were yeah. one of my first, like, first sack rapper that wasn't a friend that I didn't know personally. Like, 
to shoot a music video for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at it, man. Yeah, no, for real. That's it. That's it. Oh, God. I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. At that time, I was trying to work. Like, I used to, I shot a video with, uh, I forgot her name, but um, I wasn't even really shooting with Sacramento, like, videographers type shit, because I don't know, like, they was still getting their shit together to me. Before I found your shit, though, you feel me? Like, I was, I was booking niggas from, uh, from the Bay, like Frisco, I think what's the name from Pittsburgh or something. I'm like, man, they got the look. Like they, they already, they know how to make it. You feel me? Like yeah. sack video, like they was just catching up. It's you know, like somebody was just picking up a camera and fucking around type shit. And I found your shit. I'm like, oh, bro, going crazy. Let me see what he talking about, bro. I don't even know what you even charged a nigga back then, like. I don't even remember, but that was hell long ago. Bro. I want to say it might have been either one, one eighty or three hundred, yeah, something one of those. like that. It was, some, it was some cheap shit though, for sure. But I had just got top I, of the line though. I, like I had just got my camera system, yeah. and I remember like in that that time that era, like it was real transitional for like the quality of videos that people could produce without a high budget. Yeah. And so that was one of those ones where I was like, oh fuck, I'm about to cop this camera and just go crazy, and then. You were like yeah. one of the very first artists I shot a video for with that camera. Oh God, bro! I'm telling you, like I was paying seven hundred and shit. Like I, I paid uh, my first two videos. I think my first two, I paid seven hundred and I think like seven fifty or something. So when yo when you said Joe Price, I'm like, ooh, and for this quality, oh yeah, come on, bro, let's do that. But what's crazy too is like to to look back at it now, I'm just like. Uh, this shit trash. like it's disgusting. Yeah, trash. I feel like that about my even the song, bro. Like the song I shot, I'm like, eh, why did I even shoot that song, bro? Like, I don't know. It was hard to me back then, though. Even the video, video fire. Then at the end, we free bridge. Da, 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 da. You feel me? Like I don't know. It was just, it just, it was. I think, history, I think that dropped bro. on the rap check. If I. I think so too On God Rap Yeah Shack. yeah Shout out to the I Rap I didn't even Shack. have no page To post shit back then That's how you know That was early Like I was throwing my shit I don't even think I had none on Thizzler Like I think my first video On Thizzler was uh, I don't even know Bro On God But I for sure Was Rap Shacking it up Though I fuck with Rap Shack To this day My boy Corey B uh, I don't know what happened with other bro. I ain't, I ain't talked to blood in a minute, but I be I still got him on Insta. He's still fucking around. He be doing a little edits and all that shit type shit. But yeah, Rap Shack was definitely home for for the beginner stages type shit. And Sack nigga, I'm like yeah, Rap Shack go crazy on guys. Facts, facts. But I mean, just looking at Mac J's progression, like you you were like learning the you know the craft i would say and mm -hmm. then you kind of found your pocket and now you're like really solidified you're like one of my favorite rappers out of sack right now to be honest like i feel like mac j has like some of the craziest bars that are super just oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. way over oh, your head yes, and i'm just impressed because wow. like looking back at the video we shot six years ago that was a totally different artist yeah for sure god it was it, it's like even back then, I did or did some auto tune shit on that motherfucker. I watched it. Me? I literally just watched it. And I was just like, and I Holy thought it was shit. so fire though. Like, like even the the shit I was saying, like the what I say, the hook was. Uh, these it niggas, was called all week. All week. These niggas seven days because they all week. Like I thought that was a, a a mind blowing bar. You feel me? I threw it in the hook. Like nigga, niggas ain't saying shit like this. But I felt like at that time, like. Sack like to this day like Sack wasn't on the bar shit you feel me like like we was I don't know I was mixing the street shit with trying to throw in bars here and there and it's so crazy though before like like even before I started on that type of time I was even more on it like I'm I was on some uh I want to say like uh like Wale type shit like like uh like the uh, what's that shit called? Bro? Some lotus flower bomb type vibes? No, no, not lotus flower. Just, just the shit he's saying. Like he talking about. Like how he got this one song. It's one of my favorite songs by a nigga called Bricks with him and uh, and Yo Gotti. You feel me? And he just saying like how, how uh, everybody want to be drug dealers. Da, da 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 And this and that da, da da. I was on that type of time. Like nigga, I, I'm I'm selling drugs, nigga, but I don't want to be a drug dealer forever. Type shit. Da da da. And it was damn near getting looked over, though, you feel me? So I'm like, damn, I might got to dumb it down a little bit. And that's what's so crazy, bro. That's when I start really going up. Like, I'm like, damn, a nigga got to be, like, 
I don't know. I got to dumb it down for motherfuckers to understand what I'm what I'm trying to say. Like, cause the whole time I I feel like, bro, if I wanna if I wanna pop out here, bro, I know how to do it. Cause everybody talking about the same shit. Like everybody just gang banging to it. Like nigga, I can make a song like that, bro. I'm choosing not to. You feel me? I'm choosing not to do that shit. And then I, it came to a point where I'm like, man, let me dumb it down for him a little bit. Splash a little sauce on there. And it started going up. You feel me? And then when Brace came, it was it was over. It was over. Oh, God, it was over. Yeah, because I feel like that's like the hardest part about being an artist is finding your style. Especially yeah, in the you, rap game, you too. Don't know, you don't know what it is. You don't know. It might sound stupid to you as the artist. Like, man, I don't, I don't I ain't feeling that. You dropped that. Like, I swear to God, bro, to this day, like, my biggest songs be shit that I don't even like. Mm. I swear to God, songs that I don't even like. Nigga, like, I'd be like, damn, it'd be a song like they finna go crazy off this and it'd be it'd do mediocre. You feel me? I shoot to some shit that's just cool, like on some bro, I'm finna try to shoot a video today, and that'd be the one that you feel me, get hella views. I'd be like, damn, this shit is weird. You never know, like, I don't know. You just gotta let the fans pick like what's tight and what's not, I guess. Like I don't know. This shit hella weird. To this day, it's still hella weird. Yeah, I mean, like the Mac J sound is definitely unique and different. Mm -hmm. Like, who who can you say is kind of like some influences or style? Because I hear like the Wayne, like the Wayne metaphors and, mm -hmm. you know, comparisons and just bars like that. Like, would you consider them punchlines? Or how, like, how would you categorize? Like, I consider some of them punchlines. I think uh, and some I don't know cause then sometimes I, it'd be something so simple to me and then they, they like when I just did it there's a cypher right my first four like first four lines is like I kick it off going crazy with the with the punch lines you feel me they ain't catch on till the basic ones you feel me like the shit I be thinking be basic they be like they running with it I what's the basic one cause I wanna see if I got the basic Bro. one in my notes right here I said, uh, I think they started catching on. All right, what was my high kick? I was on? like, I got the you, the Tariq St. Patrick Ghost okay, Power no, Bar. Yeah, yeah, that went over. That went over. They didn't catch on to that. Okay, you know I was like, I mean? that one was crazy. Yeah, a lot of people. Bro, somebody left a comment, bro, right? And it, he like, somebody was like, nigga, that's a double entendre or some shit, right? Then another nigga like, it's really a triple entendre because he meant, he's talking about this football player on so-and-so because I said uh, the motion shit first, you feel me? I push it in motion or whatever and the nigga like, he talking about this football player, bro, he's a tight end and he do motion plays all the time and his name is Tariq and I'm like, bro, I definitely, I definitely didn't know nothing about that, bro, but. They're in the comments trying to dissect the bars. Yeah, I swear to God. But they always pick, like, the regular ones. Like, I don't know. Like, I think the plug obese got a lot of weight on him was, like, normal. But let me see. Let me try to think. Because it was, it was something so basic they kept tripping off. Uh, I, it might have been my dog, no tricks, he turned snake on me. It might have been that one. I feel like that was, like, eh. You feel me? But they was like, bro, run it back. You hear what he said? <laughs> I'm like, bro, y'all skip the St. Patrick. Like they I, I watch some niggas reaction videos, you feel me? Like they skip over, they skip over that boom. Some people are pausing on there, but a majority of them will skip over it and pause on the simplest shit, bro. I swear, like, I don't know. This shit be crazy. I'm like, damn, y'all just miss foe. Like, I kicked it off with the uh why I say I don't do the cypher shit, cause I don't write raps. I don't like that. Not to mention I get sidetracked. I get on a beat and I black. I need an eye patch. Ran into that bag. I told my bitch I need an ice patch. They they skipped the eye patch. You feel me? I'm like, bro, how y'all missed that? Then they skipped the ice patch. I'm like, how y'all missed that? Them is two back to back. Like, they skipped right past that. Then they skipped the Tariq boot and they stopped at obese. You feel me? I'm like, how? You niggas is crazy. Y'all sleep for real. And because, I mean, in order to create these bars, you have to know what the reference is. And like the the power shit, mm -hmm. like you got mad references to like a lot of culture, like pop culture shit. Mm -hmm. Like you're constantly consuming movies and cartoons and shows like that. Yeah, then I had to remember like, damn, maybe other people don't even watch Power. You feel? My little brother, I was just talking about this shit the other night. Like he like, you know, I ain't never going. I swear to God, bro, this dinner yesterday, the nigga like, uh. We talking about the power shit, whatever. I'm like, I'm like, Tweet, I'm down there mad at you, bro. If you don't know who Tariq St. Patrick is, 
You've been hyping me up on my cipher this whole time. You didn't even know that. You don't even know what I'm talking about. You're like, I swear, Jay, I didn't get that one, but I got all the rest of them. I'm like, <laughs> he was at the <laughs> cipher while I'm doing it. So I'm like, you going crazy, Jay. Ooh. I'm like, you didn't even know what I was talking about right there, nigga. You wild. Damn, so how, how many takes did it take you to do the cipher? <laughs> nigga, I can't even count. I, I say, I don't even want to be lying, bro. I promise you. At least 17. At least 17. What you think, Reese? It was like 17, 15? Up there or lower? Higher? It probably was dead. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but you're you're like doing it some and then you're finishing it, or you're doing one take all the way through? One take all the way through. Okay. That's what I'm saying, bro. But I, I was trying to explain because all right, when I did it like two years ago. Or whatever, I I came up with the verse on my like on the freeway on my way up there, right? So boom, it took me a couple times to get that one out. But I'm like, bro, why don't y'all just let us punch it in? You feel me, like? And it was like, uh, can you are you gonna be able to do that? They asking the uh, producer dude or whoever. The video guys probably. Nah, they wasn't tripping out the. Oh yeah, nah, nah, you're right, you're right, because they was like, is that gonna work? You feel me? Because you have to make the cuts look like it's one thing. Yeah, 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 on guys. So they was they they figured that out and it was like, oh yeah, we could do it. You feel me? Because I'm like, that's all y'all doing anyway. Like after after this nigga rap, y'all pausing it and then we walk up and do our shit. You feel me? Like so I'm I'm like, guys, punches. You feel me? That's what we do in the studio. So they like, boom. I guess I talked him into it. I don't know. (laughs) But this year, nah, bro, we want to go all the way through. You feel me? I'm like, ah, uh, I know I'm finna fuck this up. My first, I swear to God, as soon as I kick it off, my first foe, boop, it was over after that. I can't even get through six. I, nigga, every time I made another foe, I fucked up at least four more times, five more times. I didn't have the longest verse out of everybody. Then I did, I ain't gonna lie, I did one, t- it's so crazy, I really had more bars than that, but I just said, fuck it. But I did one all the way through Except for the last four, and like they didn't even know I had it. It was like, all right, that's a wrap. Da, da, da. I'm like, I ain't gonna lie, bro. I got four more bars, bro. They like, what is it, man? Like, you want to do it? I'm like, yeah, fuck it, just let me do it, bro. Oh, God, so that added like six more takes. You feel me? Like, but nigga got through it. But I'm like, why we can't just punch in though? Like, I I still don't understand. You feel me? I was watching it, thinking you guys punched in just because of the different camera angles and stuff. It would have made more sense, right? And then look. This was so crazy, bro, because, like, if you do it like that, you're going to get more energy out of us. You feel me? Like, because we're going to be able to put that sauce on it. We know we're going we gonna to know these bars for sure. Like, we ain't got to say the, say the bar and then try to remember the next eight. You feel me? Yeah. Like, we're going to focus on this four or six, whatever, and be hella animated with it. You feel me? Do all the hand gestures and da da It'll look way better on camera and everything. You feel me? I'm like, I don't know. They said it was too hard to do, I guess. They're like, bro, we got to go all the way through. I'm like, all right, fuck it. <laughs> I just said, all right, fuck it, dude, bro. No, shout out to Thizzle, though. I I appreciated that cypher. That shit was dope to see you on there, man. I, I like the whole lineup they had this year. Like, Yeah, it was tight. It was cool because it didn't feel like it was all freshmen type shit. Yeah, you know it's so crazy, though, bro. I swear to God, bro. Like, They told me it was supposed to be uh, me, Phoenix, flexing, and uh, the Ruchi nigga from out here. Oh, damn. That would have been fire. That's what I'm saying, because I honestly wasn't even finna do the cypher on God. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. That That's some L.A. artist, you feel me? I'm like, oh, yeah, I'll do that, bro. Because it usually be like the same, just the Bay, Stockton, you feel me? I'm like, I knew Jock wasn't doing it. He already told me he wasn't doing it this year. So I'm like, all right. They said they got Phoenix and uh, what's the name? I'm like, all right, boom. I pull up and they had them instead. You feel me? I'm like, oh damn, I didn't know it was gonna be y'all, but I ain't tripping. I'm already here anyway. And then they me? told you you couldn't punch in. Then they told me I can't punch. I'm like, man, y'all nigga, y'all <laughs> finessing me today. I'm like, bro, I'm already here though. They're like, I'm gonna take it. my time to spend this yeah, shit right now. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all gonna have to wait, bro. Y'all want this shit? <laughs> y'all gonna have to wait, man. Eat your pizza, man. And I had my son there this time too, right? It was hella funny though, cause. I'm taking so long, bro. And then one of the takes, my son back there, he's like, come on, dad, you can do this. He's six years old, though. You feel me? Now I'm like, I'm like, damn, now I really got to knock this shit out. He down there threw me off a little bit, though. I'm like, man, I'm going to try to knock it out. He just said that. I got to knock it out. You feel me? Punched in and 
fucked up. <laughs> Let it, <laughs> I went fuck. right in and fucked it up. Oh God! You know that reminds me of like a skateboarder trying to land its tr- like a trick. Mm-hmm. It's like gotta do it over and over. Gotta do it. Gotta do it until it's clean. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that I th- yep, it's that exact shit, nigga. You gonna keep falling on you. You might fuck up here and there. Like I might even get all the way through it, but. No, y'all don't know I fucked up on a word 16 bars ago. You feel me? Like, y'all don't know because y'all don't know how I'm supposed to say it. You feel me? So I get I get hella far through there. Y'all might think it's cool. And I'm like, nah. I, fuck, I wasn't supposed to say they. You feel me? Like, it'd be something so tiny, though. But I'm like, nah, I wasn't supposed to say they. I was supposed to say we. You feel me? So we got to do it all over again. Got to <laughs> gotta, uh, have some attention to detail. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Especially when I'm... Y'all, like I'm saying some bars, like I got to say it exactly how I'm supposed to say it or nigga that, I don't know, that one word might fuck the whole little scheme up, you feel me? So are you just like watching TV and then randomly see something and then think of a bar? Sometimes it be like that, I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it be like that. Sometimes I just be in a stew and then I say something and I need a word to rhyme with it, you feel me? And I be like, damn, what, what rhyme with us? You feel me? And then I'll try to think of some words that rhyme with us. And then if it's a word, I'll be like, all right, how could I flip that word? You feel me? Boom. Then that's how I put it together. Like, So you pick like, the rhyming scheme first, and then you, like, build the sentence yeah, I around them? Yeah, i I figure out what I want to say. Like, i go in there and be like, uh, I just left, I just left, I just did a podcast at Trevor shit. Then say some, say some slick shit, whatever rhyme with Trevor, Trevor shit, like, Nigga, uh, they think I'm Curry on the court because I never miss. <laughs> you feel me? Just some some simple shit though. But I'm just saying like how it rhymed, like and then think of whatever that word rhyme with, but a cool flip to it. You feel me? Shit like that. So your process when making songs is, doesn't take that long. It depend on the song. Like if it's a little fine, if, if it ain't really too like important to me, it'd be like. But if it's a song like I, I feel some type of way. Then I, uh, it might take a little second, probably like an hour. You feel me, an hour. But other than that, it, don't, it really don't be taking that long. Yeah, because I feel like you got mad range where it's like you could get on like the turn up, like, like okay, Bob and shit. But also you got the storytelling bars. You got the real story, like raps that yeah. are really saying a lot of shit. Yeah, it depends on how I'm feeling at the time type shit. Like if I got some, I want to address, like, or if it's just I just want need to make a song today, and it the beat play a, a big part too. Oh um, God, like I gotta really fuck with the beat, bro. Um, God, if it's a tight ass beat, like when I made Bucket List, I had uh, I was just slapping hella old old ass songs like Sack, hella Sack and Bay Area old shit. I'm like, ooh, I forgot about this song. You feel me? I'm just like, Let's see if nigga can make a beat to this. Boom, he made the beat to this. I'm like, oh yeah. Nigga, this a this a old school for sack. I'm like, I gotta go, gotta go up on this, feel me? So I went in there on some like, yeah, this gotta be hard type shit, feel me? Like it got it gotta be like tight to me, cause I be making a lot of shit that I be like, I be thinking, uh, but the fans be ending up liking them motherfuckers. Do you ever think? Do you ever think shit? Yep. Like I you make some shit it. and then you don't like, ah, oh, should I drop this? Should I not? Yeah, I'm yeah. like that too sometimes with the videos. I do that all the time. I be like, I think that's what be taking me so long for it to uh, to drop little projects, bro. Like, like I be having projects already, but I be like, I be like, all right, I got 10, 10 cool songs that I'm gonna put on there. I think these cool, but I feel like I ain't got that one on there yet. That's gonna hit an M for sure. You feel me? Like, if I feel like I ain't got that on there yet. It's gonna take me until I make that song. I, that the project ain't coming out. You feel me? Like I don't want to just drop no mediocre joint. Cause y'all, I don't already made y'all wait six months. You feel me? Like so, I gotta come with some shit. Gotta come with some heat at least. And then yeah, that's what be. I just yeah, I be definitely overthinking shit though for sure. Yeah, cause I feel like once you once you already hit those M's. Then mm-hmm. it's like the hard part is like all right, maintaining the maintaining that. Maintaining them joints, yeah, that's a that's definitely hard to do. And then I'm really just catching on to like the the like the process, all that rollout shit, like the build up, all that type of shit. I'm really just catching on to that type of shit, like uh, like even like put like cause I drop a I I drop a CD, feel me, drop a little project, boop, 
and then start shooting videos for the songs on the CD when really I should have been shot the videos. I've been done had these songs three months. Feel me? I should be just dropping the videos by now. You yeah. feel me? So yeah, I'm just now getting that little situation together, man. Like it took a minute to learn that. It's because yes. a nigga been doing this shit. It's like you're independent, right? Yeah, I've been. So nobody be trying to give up the game. You feel me on how it work unless you doing a deal with them and then they want to help you out type shit. But you just got to learn it all on your own and you just to the neck. So would you ever sign? Would I have? Fuck yeah, nigga, they come with that shit, mm. man. I do it for sure. But I feel like I don't, I don't really like need to because I got a cool little blueprint. Uh, what's the name? I say Filthy for sure. Filthy be giving me game on whatever a nigga asking me. You feel me? He he ain't never held back no no info like yeah filthy for sure be looking out he be lacing me up on shit but yeah I I, I think I I would sign if they came with some shit but I feel like I don't really need to I could I could keep my process going and I could turn it up a notch if I really like you feel me want to but yeah it just got to be a cool little uh, yeah I mean. <laughs> The game has definitely changed as far as like being an independent artist and how you market yourself. You know, you're like, you're not selling CDs out of the trunk anymore. This shit, you're scheduling podcasts like with independent, you know, platforms right. like this. Right. You know, you're scheduling music videos. You're doing cover art. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're s uploading it to distro. It's the whole process, yeah, man. Yeah, you got to pay for everything too. Like, a lot of motherfuckers be thinking like, uh, I don't know. It be seem like they be thinking everything free or something. Like, like nigga, nigga, I pay for all these videos. Some of them ain't cheap. Some of them might do be. I might do just shoot a quick little, you feel me, four hundred dollar joint. You feel me? But nigga, I'm dropping them all. I'm shooting them every week. You feel me? And nigga, got a kid. Nigga going to the studio. Nigga got to pay for studio time. Pay for the beats. Nigga, I pay for it. literally everything. Nigga, even with the promo shit, you feel me? Like, you want to promote your shit for real? You got to spend some money. Facts. Like, everything, everything costs, bro. God, like, and when you independent, you the one got to pay for it. Like, nobody else. No, but one thing I can say about you, though, is you may overthink, but I feel like you're pretty consistent when it comes to releasing music videos, visuals, yeah. like... I, be, I feel like, uh, I feel like I slowed down, but... I swear to God, this whole time I've been doing this shit, people always told me that, like, bro, you the most consistent, da, 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 but I be feeling like I'm going slow. Mm. Like, actually, it was one point in time where I was dinner dropping a video every week, and I'm like, yeah, this the pace I need to keep, you feel me? Like, and then, like, real life shit start happening and slowed me up a little bit. But uh, they were still saying it, though. They still like, bro, you the most consistent. I think it's really just the, the quality of shit, though, like, like the quality be making them think that I'm I've been dropping back to back all year when really nigga my last joint was six months ago, but like I ain't dropped a video two months and y'all talking about Mac the most consistent out here. But when I drop it's it's, it's that shit though. Feel me? Uh, yeah, I mean it's easy to fall off. Uh, like yeah, just just in terms yeah. of being consistent. Fuck yeah, hell yeah. I be telling everybody that too, like bro, you when when real life come around, like I know you gotta deal with it, but they like your circle, they gotta understand, bro. Like man, it's easy. It look like it look good right now, but it, this shit could be terrible by next month, by next week. And yeah, like you could be on the other end of this shit. Like it don't matter what you drop, like nigga, they ain't fucking with it. Yeah, you feel me? Like you gotta stay on your shit. You gotta stay in the stew. Like even with the studio, like. People be thinking I'm in that bitch every day, but I be barely going damn near. Like, mm. you feel me? Sometimes it'd be like I might have a cool, cool three weeks of just straight stew back to back, but then I might go a whole month no stew at all. Like, you just don't feel it. Yeah, sometimes it just depend on what's going on. Like, uh, yeah, I might just be out of it. Like, man, I ain't even feeling that shit, bro. I gotta be in the mood damn near, like, to go. You feel me? I gotta be in the mood. I gotta be feeling it to go drive way to the stew, lock in that motherfucker, find a beat, feel like feel like even rapping, you feel me? Like, feel like coming up, because I know if I ain't in the mood, I ain't finna make no, you feel me? I'm going to just go up there, waste my time, waste my money, because the song I make, I'm not even finna put it out, mm. for sure, because I wasn't even feeling it from the jump, yeah. you feel me? So, yeah, it'd be shit like that, man. Where do you think your uh, headspace is right now? 
I think I'm in a cool, cool headspace right now. I think I'm uh, just, just for the fact I'm even out here, cause like I barely be coming to this motherfucker, and I got a million reasons to come. You feel me? And I still don't be coming, but yeah, I think I'm uh, shaking back though. This shit, I'm moving now. You see, I'm out here. Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm finally out this motherfucker, man. No, definitely. I mean, if that's one thing I could uh, give some advice to, like, just people in Sacramento trying to make it, like, you definitely gotta, gotta m- you gotta, you gotta make that drive. Yeah, bro. I'm if you God. really want to be in the mix, because out here it's a different pace. I yeah. love it out here, man. Yeah, no, nah, it for surely is on God. Like, I like it too. On God, I like it too. I just, it's, I don't know. As a rapper, it, is, it might bro. be different, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. It's, in terms it's, of, it's probably a little different. Like, you probably, it's probably, you probably get to do. A little more than me. Yeah, I don't have to me? look over my shoulder yeah, constantly. Yeah, you probably get to just pull up and do your shit, but yeah, everything, everything I do, I gotta question it. You feel me? Like, damn, this nigga trying to pay me to come do this shit, but hold on, let me check his background. He might not even. You feel me? It might be a whole different lineup. Feel me? Facts. Like, shit, crazy. Facts. Well, you're out here in LA. You just did a show, correct? Yeah, yeah, with yeah. Uh, Phoenix Flexin. Yeah, and Jock. How'd that go? That shit was turned, bro. It was turned. My first time out here with it, like. Really? Yeah. First Your first show time out LA. here? No, not first time. Man. But like, like to perform? Yeah, yeah. First show. Oh God, first show. That motherfucker was tight. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Wow. Bro. It was crazy. Like I'm like, damn, they really fuck with us. Like we. It, we only really six hours away, bro. But it's just a total different like. Like not culture, but damn near culture. Like just how, uh, just the even the sound. Like you feel me? Like the sound. Like how 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 even how niggas dress, the lingo. You feel me? Like just everything, just a little different out here, bro. From what we got going on over there, you feel me? So I wasn't I wasn't thinking. I thought I knew for sure I was gonna have at least a hundred motherfuckers in there that know my shit, but. Everybody was fucking with it in there, oh God. Yeah? It was turned. <laughs> That's sick. It was turned. I ain't gonna lie. It was tight, bro. What songs uh, What songs did you perform? I did, uh, let me see. I did uh, I did All Talk. I did uh, Bucket List. I did, I slapped some uh, 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 Knee Hammy for Bristy Moo. And, uh, I did, a, uh, what else I did? Oh, I did Big Bloody. I did, yeah, um, what else I do, bro? I did a few of them joints. I forgot. I did a few. And then I had uh, Freeway Donnie, A.O. Millie, True Story Tweez. You know I mean? I let them do they shit, too. Jock went brazy. Jock did. You know, Jock got numbers on the board. You yeah. Me? And that nigga shit was going brazy, too. I mean, look, you, Phoenix, and Jock, that's a that combo. sounds like a lit show. That's a combo right there on God. Yeah, that's the North and the South. Connecting. Bridging the gap. Bridging the gap on God. That's bridging the gap for sure. That shit tight, though. It was tight, bro. It was tight. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Yeah, me too, man. Because they, they be really thinking like a lot of motherfuckers out this way don't really fuck with us out that way type shit. You feel me? Like Then some people be thinking the sound like they trying to sound like this, this, this. Or like I'm like man, we influence a lot of motherfuckers out here, just like a, a lot of motherfuckers out here influence some niggas down there. You feel me? Like even with the beat choice, like I be hearing a lot of Northern Cali beats out this way now. You feel me? It's a it's a lot of shit, and I'm like man, if nigga can stop all that, just them that shit y'all talking about. If nigga just stop all that and just fuck with each other all the time, this whole the whole Cali would be. You feel me? It'd be on a whole nother level. Like, I know L.A. don't really need it, though. You feel me? Like, because y'all, it seemed like it's it's easy to get lit out here type shit. But out there, it's hard to get lit out there. You think so now? No, nah, it's cool. It's cool now. I mean, I feel, I I feel, feel like... Because like, uh, I feel like you've been in the game for a while now, so you were able to see, like, I watched the early change. stages of SAC and, like, what the scene was like and how big it's gotten. Yeah, you know, yeah, I right watched now, it change. That's what I'm saying. It was, it was harder. It was way harder. It's still a little... Because it just be a lot of little blackballing, hating. So many politics, too, you mm. feel me? But I feel like L.A. always was, like, 
if you come with some of that shit, nigga, they gonna fuck with you type shit. But over there, it's like you could be coming with that shit for four years straight. Like, nigga, it is what it is. Like, it's just they gonna know you over there, like, for that. But now it's like, nigga, you come with that shit out there. If your shit pick up, it pick up. You yeah. feel me? But at first, it felt like it wasn't even an option. Like, it felt like you had to move first. Like, a nigga got to move out here or something. It makes some, you feel me, connect the dots a little bit. And then and you start going up type shit, build some relationships. But now it's like we got our little shit going over there. Yeah, man. yeah, definitely. There's like, I don't know, man. Sacks definitely earned their, I would say, respect in the in the northern California yeah. uh, like hip hop space. I would say because there's a lot of talent coming out of Sac. Yeah, it took a while too, bro. Definitely took a while. It took a minute. It took it took hella long for real. But, All right, but you're out here now. You said you were shopping. Shopping, I ain't even know where to go. What kind of shopper is Mac J? Because I seen you in that video, you had those uh, those boots on. Well, oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're coming. You got the uh, you got the Nike SB dunks on. Yeah. That are made out of uh, wetsuit material. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah. you just lace my boots on that. I ain't even. You feel me? I don't even be knowing like like my nigga Rallo, bro. He be he be really lacing my boots half the time. But I really look at this like. The SBs are just the dunks, period. And like, ooh, them hard. And I wouldn't even know it's a collab or you feel me? I wouldn't know nothing. Like, I just be look I just get shit that I like type shit. Like, if it's cool, I don't I don't really follow the trends type shit. Like, I don't even I, this is a babe shirt, bro. I bought this shit just cause it was the last shirt. Like, and I was running out of time for the show. <laughs> I swear to God, bro, like I really don't even wear babe. I ain't even a babe nigga, like. I don't know, like I, don't, I really don't really fuck with they shit like that, but that's a that's a big deal though. You feel me? That's a big deal. That's that's trendy to everybody though. You feel me? Like it's a lot of shit I don't like. I I like hella supreme shit though. I like supreme shit. I like um. No, I I like I like the 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 Astro boots fit. You had the the North Face, the yeah, furry on. Yeah, that was fire, huh? I was fucking with it. Yeah, that was wild, bro. They a lot, were I those had, comfortable. I had, Mm, not I'm. I don't know. I guess. I guess. I don't even wear boots. You feel me? So I don't know if the boots supposed to feel like that or what. But and it was nigga had to put in some work to take them bitches <laughs> off too. Though I ain't gonna lie. It's like you rocking a, a suction cup when it's time to take them off. I was thinking about those shoes and I was like, those shoes are super dope until someone else has them on. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah, it's like, oh, look at you <laughs> niggas. Man, I seen on Instagram too. I don't know if it was real or not. It's like they doing another one, the yellow one. It's like a Crocs collab though. Like, Is that real? I don't know. I seen it. I seen, I don't I know seen that too. Seen it. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, I don't know if it's real or not, but that's crazy. I try to throw them in a video one time. <laughs> I really did it just because I knew... First of all, it's just people are gonna talk about it. Exactly, like ain't nobody expected me to pop out with the big red zone. You feel me? Like <laughs> I already knew that I was gonna throw hella motherfuckers off. Like man, what? Hell no! Nah. It worked though. Oh God, it did work. <sighs> yeah, the big red. That video was just hard in general, man. You come, yeah. you come with some pretty hard videos. That's what I respect about you. Is like, you know, the, the stuff with Red Fox, the stuff with Phases, whatever you like. You maintain a quality. Which yeah, I that's could, what I, I could appreciate, do, bro. Like, and then when uh, that's that's another like video, right? Cause that that's that shit. That song probably been out for like eight months, nine months already. Like, like I was really supposed to be in shoot. That's the the shit I'm talking about. Like, I'm just yeah. learning. You feel me? Like, why would I do a video to that song now? Type shit. But like, yeah, I just did that shit. Like, and then I be trying to uh. I don't know. I told myself I ain't going to keep doing point and shoot joints. You know, I, I barely shoot the ones with storylines and all that type of shit. But I be wanting to do it. Like, I did one with Red Fox, and it was like, bro, you uh, you want to, uh, would you would you be up to do some acting in the video? I'm like, hell yeah, nigga. Like, they ain't even respect me to be on that type of time because I shoot so many, uh, like, you feel me? Just shoot here, there, get it done type shit. But I be wanting to do that type of shit, but... And they be acting like it take not not just Red Fox, but the camera niggas be acting like it just take too much time t type shit. Like I'll be like, man, I want to do it like this, like that. About the time they pull up, 
it's a whole nother story. Like, you feel me? I'm like, all it's right, a lot of factors that go on with actually doing it properly. Yeah. That's what I'm learning. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I be seeing that too. Like, like when I see certain niggas' videos, and uh, like if I drop a video, it's gonna be odd just to have Red Fox. Boom, they shot this. You feel me? On like, like bigger artists when they do it, you gonna see hell. They gonna tag hell of people like DP direct. I don't know <laughs> what that crew. is. Yeah, it's a whole crew on God, and I be like, damn. It took all that to come out with just this shit. Like, damn, I need to start doing these. But, yeah, I guess it just take time, man. I, I fuck with that, though, because there's a lot of, like, I've just encountered some artists where it's like, they don't even seem like they want to be shooting the music video. Yeah, yeah. And that's just so backwards they to me. to be so fired yeah, up. Yeah, I just, yeah. like, it's like, how can you expect a good product if you don't even want to put in any effort? You know, yeah. like, showing up is cool, but, like, you gotta be willing to yeah, you know, like do you, some shit, man. It's gonna, it takes long, it's, bro. There's full full eight hour days shooting sometimes, multiple yeah. days. Like nah, the big shit you, is multiple I days. Hella behind the scenes of like bigger artists, like they take a whole day, like morning to night type shit. Like I'm like, damn, I get it. And it's crazy because I used to be watching like interviews and doc, little documentaries type shit back in the day, bro. They used to be paying outrageous numbers for videos, like millions of dollars, bro. millions of dollars. And I used to be like, "How the fuck do you take millions of dollars to shoot a video? Like how?" Then I start learning more. I'm like, "Okay, I see. They took y'all a week to shoot that, damn, nigga." But they be they still was doing a little extra to me, like niggas that have a. Uh, What's them called when they be on movie sets? Nigga got their own uh, trailer type shit. Yeah, they be having that type shit going on. Like, they got man. food. But yeah, they got food coming. They they doing every all this extra ass shit. I'm like, man, I, they don't really got to do all that. Well, yeah, that's the thing too. It's like you could invest all this money into this video, and like you said, it might not even go. And then yeah, the one you yeah, shot on the like, iPhone in the corner, don't blow. <laughs> yes. The joint on a joint gonna <laughs> blow on God, bro, it's like bro. It's just like... You never know. You never know, bro, on God. You never know. That's that's what's so crazy about just the music shit, because you just never know, man. And I, I used to be mad at that, too. Like, like back in the day when I'm seeing trash niggas get on for it. Nothing. Like, I'm like, how is this nigga on? He don't even know how to rap. Like, the nigga be just making hella bullshit, like... I don't know. I think that was around the mumble rap era type shit when them niggas was getting on. I'm like, man, this nigga ain't saying nothing. You you literally wouldn't even know what a nigga saying at all. You feel me? Yeah. He blow. He, he signed it's, $10 million contracts and shit. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, man? I kind of have like similar energy for like music video directors who just start off and then immediately pop off with a rapper and then it, or they just are using the same effects and shit bro it's it's, it's like frustrating that. but then i still can't knock it man you it's can't knock it, i gotta yeah. like it's i'm gonna like get there whenever with, uh, i need to get there it's like that with producers too my my little brother making beats two story tweeds you feel me he been making beats bro he been making all my beats and all that like like now i got hella other producers too but he always on every one of my joints i drop you feel me but he be having that exact same shit go on. Like, it'd be a nigga, like, we'll, we'll watch him. He'd be like, nigga, look at this nigga. He's stealing all my sauce, nigga, da 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 And now he hella big. Like, he doing songs for these niggas in Detroit. He doing da 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 All type of shit on God. He be, I know that shit frustrating, too. On God. I be feeling him like, yeah, I know. That's how it go. Like, you dinner just got to deal with it. Like, like, it's so crazy. Like, all right, say just my sound, right? It could be me. I'm out here doing all this. You feel me? I've been rapping for this long. Uh, 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 I done got millions of views. Niggas, you feel me? Cool. Boom. A nigga could pop out tomorrow. Use my whole sauce, my my whole sound, and blow. Like, like, bro, come on, bro. That's crazy. Like, how the fuck that happened? Like, <laughs> like nigga, how, how y'all let that go down like that, bro? But I don't know. You just gotta just rock with you've, it. You've encountered copycats? Hell, fuck yeah, man! Like I be wanting to say something all the time, but I'm like, all right, they just I just look at it like fans. Like all right, like he liked my shit so much, he start doing it. Feel me? I just looked at it like that. Like especially if a nigga like uh, if a nigga just paying homage type shit. If he on some. I fuck with them down there. You feel me? I fuck with Mac J, Briz, 
Jug, Slow, we listen to them over here if they on that type of time. But if you on some, yeah, I was in my room one day and I just came up with this flow. If you on that, come on, man. I might have to slap a nigga or something, man. You disrespecting. <laughs> you disrespecting. Oh, God, bro. You can't do that, bro. That's You just straight stealing. You just, you stealing from me, nigga. And the fucked up thing, too, nowadays, it's just so easy to steal shit. Yeah, because it's yeah, just yeah. like, you could, there's so, there's so much fire shit that's not even getting noticed. Bro, you got, look, I look at it like this. Like, like I think this is, I don't know if this is why niggas be stealing, but... It's just so easy. Like, a nigga could be from anywhere in the world. A nigga could be from uh, anywhere the music scene is like, you feel me? Like, Utah. Just say Utah. I don't know what the fuck in Utah. But say a nigga from Utah just listen to us all day, every day, and decide to want to be a rapper. He come out using our beats, our style. Everybody in Utah going to be like, nigga, you heard it. uh uh he going crazy. I ain't never heard that type of shit before. They don't listen to us in Utah. I don't know if they do or not. I'm just saying. You see that little white kid going viral for, uh, like, kind of sounding like Sloby? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I liked it. I liked this post, though. Oh, God, I liked it. I'm like, bro, this shit is crazy, bro. Like He was in the mall, I think, or bro, he was saying that, some wild that, shit. What was that nigga name? You don't know I don't name? know. I don't know. He was just like, oh, we like, yeah, He was yeah. talking his shit. He was, he, I ain't going to lie. He was throwing an ooh, we in just wherever he wanted to, too. Like, he wasn't even, he even had a rhythm. <laughs> but, that I nigga mean. just, ooh, we. He was. He was just at the crib in Utah, just listening to. That was Utah. I don't know. I feel like it was somewhere. I mean, shit. Oh, so our. Case, I don't. So he I, I don't know exactly if it's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's Utah, it but hold Utah, on. I gotta look. That's crazy. I gotta look. That'd be crazy. I don't think. But it it's is. so easy though. On guys, so easy for a nigga out there. Not just Utah, but I'm just saying yeah. wherever they not listening to our shit. But one nigga. What's that say? Oh shit. That's crazy. <laughs> He's from Utah. <laughs> oh, that's ironic as fuck. Ain't that the word? Ironic or or what's that? That's a coincidence. Coincidence. That's, big, that's crazy. It might have been bro. your subconscious. Maybe you seen it, you read it, or you yeah, know, you're just yeah, like you never know. God. Yeah, but just like that though, you feel me? And he already viral. You see what I'm saying though? Like a nigga in Utah probably don't know what like ain't no Utah nigga sounding like this. This little nigga, wow, bro. And then then he white. That make it a plus. Because, like, why you rapping like that? Ooh, one for Why you rapping like that? And you you feel me? Like, nigga, so it'd be easy for him to make hella fans in Utah that don't know nothing about what we got going on over there. Because they think you coming out with this. You feel me? Like, only you know where you got it from. You could, it's, it's up to you to be on some. Nah, nigga, I was listening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Or you could come out and be like, be the king of Utah because you sound like this. <laughs> it's like... You feel me? Like, you got two choices. It's like school papers, bro. Like, you could... You got to just uh, cite your sources. You know what I'm saying? Where yeah, it's yeah, like, you yeah. got to give credit where you kind of got your exactly, shit from. Exactly, bro. And God, it's, I feel like you got to do that, bro. You got to do that. Like, it seemed weird. It seemed weird to me if you don't, like... You just a weirdo. I feel like you ain't even raised right if you don't do that, bro. On God, because it's like... Like what made you not do that, nigga? Like who made who made you like that, nigga? Like you feel me? You gotta do that, bro. You gotta pay homage, man. Yeah, until you would think like, as an individual, you would want to be different, mm-hmm. or you would want to kind of create your own thing, your like, own shit. That's kind of yeah. my outlook on shit. Where it's like I definitely get influenced from a lot of things, but it's like you can't you can't blatantly take shit. You can, I can steal music video treatments all the mm-hmm. all day. I can steal music video concepts like it's nothing, and no one's really gonna find out like who really gives a fuck. But you yeah, know, it's, it's that, a, you gotta be you gotta be different. That's what just I'm be yourself. Like if you you nigga, you don't even know. Like all right, just little just little you you talk, bro. Let's just use him for instance, right? He going. You might be going viral right now because you they everybody know where you. You feel me? They know what you on, you, who you listening to, because you doing everything, you feel me? But if you knew how to rap and came out as yourself, you probably would have been bigger. Feel me? Like, say your little viralness you got right now might die down in a week or two. But if you come out as Lil uh, uh, from Utah, you'll be the first joint. 
You feel me? You might be the first joint, nigga. You might go. Nigga. That's the slow game, though. People don't want to play the slow yeah, game. Yeah, they don't want to play the slow game. They don't want to put I, in the I, work. I, I, I don't know. I, I could respect it. I could respect it if you ain't stealing. I could respect it, bro. But if you still into like, come on, man. You just bunk. Bro. Or even just trying to go viral. Like, chasing a viral. Yeah, because like, you could do all type of shit to go viral, bro. Like, nigga, we could go viral right now. We could just get into a fade on camera. Oh, podcast, Mac J, podcaster Trevor. Uh-uh-uh. You feel me? Like, but why would the niggas do that? that? Like, that's, I feel like that's where niggas be. They lose themselves. Yeah, that's where niggas be selling their soul. Right there, cause you like you doing some shit you know you shouldn't be doing, for likes, comments, and you feel me likes some money. You know you know what's gonna come if you do that, feel me. But you know you don't want to you don't want to do that, nigga. Like don't you don't even gotta do that, really, feel me. But I don't know, bro. This shit this shit crazy. Everybody want to go viral now too. Like nigga be willing to do anything nowadays, bro. It's lightweight scary. You feel me? It's kind of scary, like... You know what scares me? This AI shit. Oh, yeah, that shit's scary, too, bro. That shit's scary, The too. deep fakes and the fake voices and yeah, shit. Yeah, I didn't know nothing about it. Like, I'm telling you, I didn't know what the fuck AI was. Like, then I just started seeing hella videos, and I'm like, damn. Like, I'm seeing the songs and shit. Like, I'm seeing niggas post songs. Uh, it was down there, a Kanye verse. Yeah, we were listening to Kanye's. Uh, they were Drake songs performed by Kanye. Kanye, yeah, I was seeing it. I'm like, they're kind of hard though. Yeah, that bro, <laughs> AI be making fire. I ain't gonna lie, AI makes fire sometimes. I heard somebody dinner do a Chief Keef joint or some shit, bro. I'm, God, I'm like, damn, that motherfucker like they hit too. But it's like, damn, how y'all even? That's how y'all even make some shit like that, bro. Like Just, that'd be sound. It'd be sounding exactly like. Just wait till they're able to just be like, give me lyrics that sound like Mac J. Give me a Mac J song. What would Mac J say on here? I can't. I don't have that talent. My brain doesn't work like that. But I'm sure Chat AI GPT does. AI, <laughs> <laughs> AI gonna lace your boots real quick. Oh God, that shit crazy, bro. I done seen videos where a nigga would be like, um. They could be like, bro, uh, he asking the, the AI shit, whatever it is, the chat, whatever the fuck. Like, how can I make a million dollars by so-and-so? And then the AI bitch or whatever the fuck uh, really run down a whole little boo-boo-boo-boo. If you do this, this and that, da da by da 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 you would make a million dollars. The whole play. Like, imagine the kids that's growing up to that like nigga they ain't trying to hear shit from their parents they got AI to go ass you feel me like that's the scary part about this shit no job nigga, you want me to go get it I already know I seen I seen fucking Jerome do it man he turned 18 <laughs> he turned 18 he went he typed in on AI and he's a fucking millionaire man. he makes 20 <laughs> million <laughs> mom shut up mom what the fuck are you talking about you've been broke for 10 years what are you talking about or what I about this and did you see those new Apple goggles Nah, fuck no, nah. bro. The yeah. VR shit, that shit, bro. I'm, it's crazy. Like, the, I don't the, get the VR shit either. Like, I mean, I get the little game shit, but when they were saying nigga could buy property and all that, oh, yeah, I no. didn't, I didn't understand that shit. I don't know what the what the the metaverse thing? shit. You're talking about the metaverse yeah, the stuff. metaverse shit. I to this day I don't really understand. Yeah, that shit. I've never was sold on the metaverse. I'm like, if I can't touch it. Stand yeah. on it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm I was not buying almost it. Almost so on uh, NFTs. NFTs. <laughs> you almost, they almost got you. They almost got me, bro. And God, I'm watching it. Like I, I dinner followed a few NFT pages and shit. Like I was just watching it. Like, and this is when it was like when it was working. You feel me? I was like, like where they all go? Like, I don't see what anything. Happened to all about these? J- it was pictures of shit like this, pixelated, nigga. Nick, three hundred thousand. Trevor's cup Bro I swear to God bro And now it's like Damn what happened You can't even sell that bitch For five dollars <laughs> What happened I wish bro? I would've made some bread though Maybe I'm just a little salty That I didn't mm. you know Hit a lick I felt like that With the EDD shit too <laughs> I swear to God I, I felt like that With the EDD I, I was watching the homies I'm watching niggas You feel me I'm like I'm sitting back like Man that shit ain't gonna last long Like nigga You niggas gonna fuck around And go to jail Nigga Da 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 Nigga, 200 next week. You feel me? I'm like, ooh, we. About the time it was over, I'm like, nigga, I wish I would have did that shit too. <laughs> I swear to God, I wish I would have did that, bro. I'd probably be at an M right now off that shit. Niggas was 
Man, you're going the longevity route, which I could appreciate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I gotta play smart right now. Yeah, but damn. <laughs> That was wild. <laughs> no, it's good. You're gonna. It's gonna come back. To I you, feel man. like if I regret anything in my life, <laughs> nigga, that was one of them. Like that EDD run. You feel me? Man, Everybody I, I knew was a triple digits. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I feel should, it. I knew. I, I knew. Dived I, in. I knew some people too that were up, and I was just like. <sighs> Yeah, you're gonna. Bro. You might get God. You might get cooked. <laughs> yeah, Them and you, they might get, get you yeah, five, later, ten years later on God. When you when you come, already spent that shit, on, something like I it's got not all a, this shit going yeah, on. I'm a whole rapper. Like I can't. Uh, 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 I was playing it safe. You feel yeah. me? Like, but shit, I should have did it though. <laughs> Cause I ain't. I ain't, to this day. I ain't seen a nigga really get banged over the head for it. Other than them other like that one African nigga. Uh, but they was they had some other. I heard like some stories about the dude M's. in Florida. The Florida people. The Florida nigga. That might be the nigga I'm talking about. People were running it up. Bro. But yeah, you made the smart decision. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, yeah. Even if you have that regret. If you come back around, <laughs> they might be free back. I might go. Nah, nah, yeah. nah. We just might have to shoot that big budget video. Yeah. Oh, nigga, we would have did 10 of them by now if all that did EDD. <laughs> nigga. The big ass crew, man. Yeah, come on. All the booked everybody. Nigga, everybody eating uh, uh, Roof Chris. While we shoot this video, man, you know what I'm saying? I need somebody to come do uh, my hair, boop. They be booking anything, bro. God, nigga, come come hold a fan in my face. It's hot in here. You feel me? And I got to put them in the captions, too, boop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fan holder. Uh, uh, uh. Jerome Bettis was the fan holder. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Jerome Bettis. A foot, a that's a football player. <laughs> oh, he's a football player. <laughs> hey, shout out Jerome Bettis. I don't know why, bro. I'm doing my hair. Well, shit, man. I really appreciate you pulling up. You know, sitting down is definitely like motivating. You know, hearing hearing what you got going on. You know, we definitely got to get a video in. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I just, I just, it's it's dope to observe and to grind and build with people. You see in the it same tiers. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, That's yeah. why I feel like this was like a special one for me, bro. So you know, like I, I really appreciate you. Uh, you know, coming. Shooting the yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it too, for sure. Cause I definitely seen you do your shit, man. Like, it's crazy, nigga. You know how you know how sack go. You feel me? It's either you you win or you lose out that motherfucking uh I seen you take a dub, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Trying to turn it to a flip it over, turn it to an M or something? Wait. Oh, he slaps the cipher. <laughs> he slapped the cipher. Hey man, like, comment, subscribe. Shout yeah. out to Mag J. Go check him out. R.I.P. Briss. Well, man. Yeah.